All right, now our tale of the tape for this Bantamweight scrap. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bruce the Dragon! And now he his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC flyweight champion of the world and the former UFC featherweight champion, Henry Triple C. So we get another look at Henry Cejudo here tonight. All of his knockout wins have come in round one. So the pop is there, and more often than not, it's been there early in fights. We'll see if the technical Cejudo can get off to a good start tonight. Oh, high kick. I'm glad to switch me. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Triple C for now, maybe C4 in the future, but Henry Cejudo getting a takedown early in this one, DC. I mean, the guy's an Olympic champion. <laughs> he's the best wrestler the UFC has ever seen. This guy is next level when it comes to getting takedowns. And he doesn't rush. He starts in that wide karate-based stance, lets you make a mistake. Next thing you know, you flat on your back. As Henry Cejudo always anticipated it would be when he stepped into the fight. Oh, he's got his back. Nicely done. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. The Olympic gold medalist, Cejudo, gets back up. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice slip, and then the counter for him. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack his double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. And he's back to his feet. Good side for him there. Oh, the hands are up, but the double jab gets through. Oh, he's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Lands a nice punch there. Beautiful setup for the lick. Oh, they're trading two shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, nice right hand. Here we go. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, massive diving punch right close up. to the head. Right up. Trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Oh, nice. So who knows in half goal? Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Well, the Octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue tonight. It's abandoned him, but he did it. He tried. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. Now it's about survival. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Crowd really enjoyed that one. What goes up must come down. Man, I mean, what would what would that do to me? I'd be out like half a year, bro. You'd be done, John. You would not be calling fights. You would not be working anymore. Your back would be out. But no, people get mad when somebody wrestles too much, but they always enjoy slams like that. So who goes back inside control here? Oh, crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get out? On the bottom, you've got to start bridging. You've got to drive your feet and your heels into the mat. Start bridging and turning side to side, hoping that one of the arms slips through the cracks so that you can try to get back. 
into a position where you can defend yourself. Massive head kick. And mixes in a takedown. Why not? A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Big ground and pound. Oh, the hard ground and pound strike lands, and that has caused some swelling or so, it appears. He's got to be careful here. Hashtag swollen. His face is starting to close, my man. It looks really bad. I mean, early in the fight, we talked about addressing things right now. He didn't do that. And now it seems as though he's going to pay for it. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by the ever-improved Henry Silva. Beautiful body kick. Oh, one more to the body for good measure. Back to the left hand now. tonight i'm not sure what would top it one of the best knockouts we've seen all year in a very long time i have not seen someone look this good he promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 30 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about.